Hello friends, welcome to my place. My name is Dave. Very good to have you here. We're going to be talking about Bois de Amber from the House of Carl Lagerfeld. I got a little 50 mil texture. Now I also have the same series. This is Bois de Vetiver. Right now, this is a hundred mil bottle. I enjoy it. I did a video, haven't published it, but let's go ahead and talk about this the ombre. Of course, it's going to be an amber scent, usually, that's how it works. Let's go. Now, I don't have many from this house, just a few, but I've been satisfied, that's why I keep coming back. That's how you do it, right? You give people what they like, and they'll keep coming back. If you don't, they will not come back, but, you know, it's too bad Mr. Lagerfield is not no longer with us, but um, his legacy, I hope he'll live on you know, much longer, and I hope they'll keep doing well. Let's go, spray time. Okay, tester. All right, very strong amber sweets coming through. Put the little friend next to him. Okay, first a bit of alcohol, but yeah, this is very sweet amber. I don't know what I was expect expecting. I was expecting a little bit more of a smoky or, or darker version. Not as sweet as this, but this is very sweet. The sweet level <laughs> is about 70 amber maybe a little bit toned down right now but oh there's a lot of a lot of citrus on top very strong citrus maybe it's lemon okay maybe lemon yeah either lemon or le uh, bergamot i can't really tell yet very strong stuff um it's it's overpoweringly sweet but it's, it's cooling down just a bit so in case you worry about it it's only been what less than a minute so let's yeah this is very very sweet i'm just waiting for it to settle down a little bit but the citrus is coming to play very well so it's a fresh citrusy uh sweet amber around top now talking about this this it seems like it's going to be for a colder weather now the fall season is coming pretty soon so this will be very helpful now for this one i picked up for what fifteen dollars or less for this 50 mil so i'm not expecting uh too much but i like this house i know they usually give uh, people a pretty good product so i you know blind bought without much uh, concern especially for that uh, the good price <clears throat> yeah i'm smelling some citrus um maybe yeah yeah okay it's not really changing much yet okay i'm gonna let it wait for a second but the longevity is gonna be half a day it's not it's not projecting as much anymore but this uh hmm, this is nice there's a fresh sweet right behind this now that the um the overly sweet is coming down just a bit i'm picking out that the i think it's bergamot it's playing very well this sweet and they're actually mixing together and coming together like holding hands i don't know how to, that's the best way i could describe it sometimes you could tell those the different notes are apart or just mixing together like oil and water they're not really mixing but this one it seems like they're holding hands and combining to change the amber into a sweet and fresh amber i don't know just in my mind but sometimes when i smell it it's different okay but this one it smells like the three of them are holding hands to <laughs> together and playing very well meaning that you know they're well blended they're like doing well and combining into that one essence be becoming like one sense i don't even know if that makes sense but it just it makes sense in my head okay and that's the best way i could describe it but as far as um i'm not picking up anything else though yeah i'm you know i don't pick out just a tiny bit of blue oh saltiness that's weird i wonder if there's amber grease in here maybe it's just is that the few notes i'm talking about playing tricks and then making me smell like it's a just a tad bit blue it's kind of crazy i mean i don't imagine this type of coloration to have blue in here but that's what i smell so i'll, I'll tell you what i smell 
just a tad bit okay I don't know this amber grease in here but okay it's sticking around so this is gonna be for for the um, cooler days but it could work well on the summer night when it's not too hot because right now after the first few minutes the, the overly sweet is dying down so now the citrus is coming out but there's a floral that I haven't been able to pick up yet there's something else playing in the background yeah so I think it was that that's giving me at first I thought it was salty or blue but now not so much okay that went away <laughs> so it's already playing tricks on me this is nice it's like playing a little peekaboo Okay, this is a lot more interesting than I thought. I was so hesitant to pick up the ombre because I have a lot of amber scents and I have very nice expensive, well not super expensive, but very nice uh, expensive amber scents. So I was very hesitant to pick up $15 amber, but because I liked vetiver, this one, and I like the House of Carl Lagerfeld. So I just, you know, just went for it, buying bought. Very satisfied right now. It's not just a pure, you know, amber. I like how he's playing the tricks, but it's reminding me of something. Give me a second. I have to. Now it's becoming something so familiar. It seems to be changing. This is. <sighs> Give me a second, okay? I'm, I I have to go find out. Give me a second. Let me grab something. Okay, I want to grab um this one. I'm not sure if it is okay, but this is Armani Co Absolute. I don't think it is. But it's, it's, it's bugging me, what, what does that smell like? Okay, the top is definitely not okay, but let it settle down for one second. The um, Armani is a lot more spicier than um, okay. Oh man, I, I'm gonna be unable to sleep tonight without figuring out what this is. The fresh it's reminding me of something. I'll put it on the comments. I'm not gonna drag way too long on the first impression. Okay, coming back. No, they're, they're not too close. Maybe just a tiny bit because of the sweet of the um, Armani Co Absolute. Okay. So I'm not going to uh, put it side by side to confuse people. Don't do that, Dave. All right, sorry about that. Uh, uh, false alarm. Yeah, it's, they're very different. I'm doing side by side right now, it's very, very different. This amber chronography is a lot fresher. This sweet is tripping me up. Okay, I'm not gonna keep dragging too long. So, uh, it's gonna be good for the quarter weather. Versatility, very versatile. There's nothing harsh or, or difficult on this. And um, this is masculine for sure. Uh, I have something like this, but I can't pinpoint what it is. <laughs> First impression, bear with me, guys, okay? So you get the real stuff. Whatever I get, you get. It's going to be suitable for maybe just a bit youthful because of that sweet. And even now, it's still a little bit youthful, even though the sweet toned down to about 50% of what it was. It's not as uh, popping. Yeah, right now a few uh, a minute or two is is only just a bit of the uh, Armani Co, which is stronger than the vanilla, darker vanilla. So this, I don't smell vanilla in in the car log if you nope. All right. Yeah, I don't have anything exactly like it that I can remember now. So with that said, I hope uh, that's kind of helpful for fifteen dollars. Absolutely worth it. This is um. Maybe it's a bit of a bubble gum. Do not keep changing. This is cool. This is cool. It's, it keeps changing. I like that. But I can't tell what it is. So um, I'm not going to keep wasting time. I'm going to rack my brain and fight, figure out. I'll let you know on the comments. Okay. Um, what else should you know? I, I absolutely think it's worth it. So if you have a... Um, don't have a large collection you need something that's for the cooler weather this will fit the bill okay you could wear this for dates for sure um yeah this smells nice i i think you could the ladies will like it you could wear it longevity is going to be at least half a day so it's going to last you three dinner and the movie 
Okay, or if you're watching Netflix at home, it's gonna ask you to read the whole show or to read the whole movie. <sighs> it's bugging me, I can't remember what it is. Okay, so um, with us. <laughs> Yeah, I paused it to see if I could figure out. It's bugging me. I don't want to end the video like this, but I have to. I cannot remember exactly which one this one smells like. It's so, like, 80% similar to something else that I have. With that said, this is a uh, modern day designer fragrance that is uh, very sweet in the beginning, and then it becomes okay sweet, and it dry down. It's very, very nice. I like it. For that price, it's a no-brainer. I think you could... You would be fine spending up to thirty dollars for a uh, four hundred ml bottle, no problem. It's well worth it, you know my opinion. Okay, about how it smells. So this is um, it's a uh, it's ambery, it's sweet, citrusy, it's fresh, it's uh very nice, masculine. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm ah oh, so sad now, but I hope that's kind of helpful, guys. And um, as always, see you next time.